Hey guys and welcome to my Aberrant Spectre Guide. I might sound a little bit sick because I actually am, but not really, so I'm still going to be making this video today. This guide is kind of focused to Iron Man because Aberrant Spectres aren't really worth it for mains, you don't make that much money, but they are insane herbs and a tiny bit of seeds for Iron Man. So if you're a low level Iron Man with 60 Slayer, keep on watching. So even though the Aberrant Spectres don't require very high stats or requirements, they're very, very worth it, even on a high level Iron Man, just because of the herb drops, they're just so good. So yeah, the requirements, you need 60 Slayer to kill them, 60 plus stats should be fine, maybe even 50. I recommend 70 plus though, so that you can get yourself some good weapons. A nose peg is required against the smell, or a full Slayer helmet will do. Optional is a legendary pet. This makes it very AFK, and if you're just AFKing and it's picking up the noted herb drops, you're going to be fine, and you're going to have a very easy time at Aberrant Spectres. Now, other useful stuff which includes aggression potions. Now these will boost your kills per hour, therefore boosting your experience, but a legendary pet kind of has a cooldown for picking up stuff, so unless you're picking up the herbs with area loot, you won't get that much more herbs per hour. The Salve Amulet from the Haunted Mine Quest boosts your damage against the undead or ghosts. Uh, Ghost Hunter Armor, which you can get as a drop actually, boosts your damage as well and boosts uh, prayer or something from ghosts as well and the Charming Imp to get the charms or convert them into experience. I would recommend getting the Psalm Emirate though, because the quest isn't that hard and it doesn't require a lot of quests before it. Now for the XP rates, you can expect up to 100 to 135k XP per hour in just pure comma, excluding HP. And with C Decide, if you do use it, you get 12 to 15k farming experience per hour. And I'll put a picture on screen on what you can expect in around 5 or 6 minutes, aka 1 sip of aggression potion in herb drops. So I'll show you a picture of my inventory after 5 minutes. Now if you do not know how to get there, there's a little video on the screen right now. You teleport to the Canvas Lodestone and then walk to the Slayer Tower because this is the best place to kill them. Why you may ask? Well, you can get Slayer Contracts and these will give you a part of the experience of the creature every time you kill them, even if you're off task. And then when you complete that uh, contract, you get some GP. So it's worth using them or accepting them from the NPC. So as you can see in the video, we go up to the first floor where the aberrant specters are located and we start killing them and we use a aggression potion. Now, if you're using magic, you can use a Vecna skull. Uh, in the video, I do not use it, but this will boost your magic level and therefore boost your experience per hour. Now, other than that, there's not much to it. Just set your legendary pet to loot noted items, herbs and seeds, and maybe even coins if you want to. Uh, the Aberrant Spectres also drop rune maces and sometimes lava battle staves. And, you know, you sometimes get a clue drop as well. But you would mainly want to go there for the herbs. And if you're using a legendary pet, you just want to AFK, sit back and relax. And other than that, there's not much to them. Um, it's not really a very hard creature to kill. As you can see, we can just AFK here just fine. If you're having some struggles surviving, you can always use Ice Asylum, which is a ability which requires 91 constitution from the Dig Site quest to, uh, well, you put it on your bar and therefore every time you have 100% adrenaline and you have River Plus Plus activated, you get a Ice Asylum ability up and therefore you will heal. Um, if you, um, have a Blood Fury, it's very useful here, uh, or you can use Prayer Potions and Pray Soul Split, but that's kind of high-end uh, end game, uh, even for Iron Man, it's quite, tr quite tricky to unlock that first um, to use, but other than that, you can, uh, you can use food as well, but yeah, there's not much more to it. You will only, you only find out the best way to survive yourself, depending on your stats, uh, but of course, if you're a high level uh, and you have a Blood Fury, just use that and you'll be fine. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you did, drop a like and subscribe for more guys. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.